I went to uh, church for many years, and I made terrible mistakes. I went right against everything that I believed in, and I did a lot of things wrong. Would it be too late for me to be forgiven from God? Would his grace be sufficient enough for me to to be forgiven? That's my question. Thank you. Well, that's a great question, and it, it just saddens my heart that uh, yeah. somebody is is asking this, but I know uh, it's a common question. There are many people asking this, uh, and it, it stems from uh, this idea that you've out the grace of God, that you've uh, that your sins are just uh, too bad, um, too heinous, that you, you have moved yourself out of reach of God's saving grace. Well, that's not true. That's just not true. Uh, no one can out the grace of God. No one can put themselves beyond the reach of God's love, God's mercy, and God's grace. Um, and it gets, it gets simply down to this. Today, if you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. So today, the gospel message is going out. And what is that gospel message? It is Jesus, the fact that he died for our sins in accordance with scriptures, that he was buried, that on the third day he was raised alive in accordance with scriptures. Now, contained within that message is the power unto salvation. So if you hear that message, uh, that is the message of grace, then respond to it by faith. Mm -hmm. And what does, what does that mean? It simply means this, that, Lord, I believe that you took away my sins, every single one of them, that you stood in my place and you took the punishment that I deserved so that I could be set free to experience your eternal life. And so today I open up my heart and I receive you uh, as my Lord and as my Savior. That's as, as simple as it gets. And it is, it is simple. God is offering you a gift. He doesn't uh, take into account what your past was, what you have done. Uh, he doesn't take into account any of those things. As a matter of fact, he's already said in the word of God that he has reconciled you unto himself. He's not counting your sins against you. So that's good news. You're dredging up those sins. You are looking at them and you're saying, oh my goodness, that those are just awful. That means I'm awful. That means that God has turned his back on me. And the, the word of God tells a completely different story. Uh, God demonstrated his love for you and that while you were yet a sinner, Christ died for you. Um, God sent Jesus into the world because of his great love for you. God is reaching out to you in mercy and grace so that you can be made alive together with him. So my encouragement to you is simply this. Like I said, the word of God says today if you hear his voice, yeah. I looked on the calendar and guess what? It says today. <laughs> that's, that's how it describes this date as today. It's not yesterday. It's not tomorrow. It's today. And the gospel is going forth to you today. Yeah. And it's a gospel of hope. It's a gospel of mercy. It's a gospel of grace. It's a gospel of life. It's a gospel that's bigger than you, and it's a gospel that invites you into the very presence of God. So today, my friend, recognize that Jesus died for all your sins. Get down and say thank you to the Lord Jesus. Thank you for standing in my shoes. Thank you for taking my place. Thank you for bearing the punishment that I justly deserve. But thank you as well for coming out of that grave. Thank you that you're alive today and that you can save me. So I'm calling on your name today. And Paul says in, in Romans 10, anyone who calls upon the name of the Lord, whether Jew or Gentile, will be saved. So God's grace is there. 
let that grace be met with a response of faith that calls upon the name of the Lord Jesus. And when you do, you're going to experience salvation. Now, what is that? What is salvation? Is it simply that God has written your name down in the book of life? Well, yes, that's true. Um, but he's also done something. Uh, and the and here's what he's done. He is going to take you who is dead and trespasses and sins and he is going to make you alive together with Christ. So just as Christ died and was buried and was raised back to life, that story is going to become your story. You're going to be placed into the death, the burial, and resurrection of Jesus. And just as Jesus came out of that grave, you're going to be raised spiritually as a new creation to walk in the newness of life. So that grace is there for you. Let it be met with a response of faith that simply says, yes, Lord, I'm opening up my hands and I'm receiving the gift. And what is that gift? It is Jesus Christ himself. Absolutely. Well said, Bob. And to this caller, we don't have his name, but uh, yes, sir, if you're listening uh, and you respond to what Bob has been teaching for the last couple of minutes in regard to your question, we hope that you'll reach out to us and let us know if you say that prayer and ask Jesus into your heart. And uh, you can simply drop an email to bob at basicgospel.net. Just let us know that uh, we have a new brother in Christ. That would be wonderful. Absolutely. And and Bob, I know there are other people out there that have the same question. They think they're beyond the reach of God. And I, I hope what we've said, this gospel message has penetrated your heart and you've come to realize that no, you are not outside of the reach of God. As a matter of fact, he is reaching out to you right now and just the same encouragement to you that we gave to the caller, open up your hands, open up your heart and receive the Lord Jesus, call upon his name and you will be saved.